headed to the west And it's calling me back again There's a bay of blue sky and a going sunset And a place I can't forget You go down home when the sun goes low Head off the highway to the painted western sky Walk down the warm path to the back door Cooking in the kitchen and the kettle is warm Then you sit down home. Welcome to Great Chefs of the West, a video symposium of regional cookery offered by Chefs of the West and Southwest. From Los Angeles, an appetizer by Chef Michael Roberts. From Austin, Texas, an entree by Chef Raymond Tatum. From Denver, Colorado, a dessert by Chef Jimmy Schmidt, and home-based cooking from the Y.O. Ranch in Mountain Home, Texas. The Tivoli Brewery building is located about five minutes from downtown Denver. It is now a shopping dining complex, housing, among others, the Rattlesnake Club, the city's newest dining rage. Jimmy Schmidt is executive chef and with Michael McCarty, co-owner. It is a cavernous 14,000-square-foot area that seats 160 people and represents a $3 million renovation. But the real focal point is Jimmy Schmidt's food. You're liable to find anything, except rattlesnake, on his menu. His dessert for this show is white chocolate ravioli in hazelnut sauce. A chocolate mousse filling begins with 8 ounces bittersweet chocolate and 1 fourth cup unsalted butter melted. Now the chocolate we're using is uh, an extra bittersweet chocolate. It's not a baking chocolate, but it is not as sweet as a conventional uh, milk chocolate so that it, it balances the flavor of the white chocolate in the raviolis. We'll add in the egg yolks. And while it's hot, just whisk it in very quickly. Two egg whites with a pinch of salt and cream of tartar are whipped until stiff. Add your egg whites to your chocolate using rubber spatula to fold to combine. To this mixture, three-fourths cup slightly beaten heavy cream plus two tablespoons sugar will be added. Add the vanilla to the cream. And whisking. Beat the cream until lightly thickened but not whipped. Fold the cream in one addition. Into the chocolate base. Transfer to a metal bowl so that it'll cool as quickly as possible in your refrigerator. Refrigerate the mousse overnight. The three components of this dish include the mousse filling, hazelnut sauce, and white chocolate pasta. The hazelnuts. The hazelnut sauce starts with one and three fourths cup scalded half and half, and three fourths cup chopped and toasted we'll hazelnuts. Blend it. This doesn't shoot out. I will blend it until it's well combined. Combine the egg yolks. The hazelnut sauce proceeds on top of the stove. The sugar, the vanilla, and a pinch of salt. And just whisk it together to combine it. Then add your cooled hazelnut cream. stirring until it begins to thicken. It should not boil. If it goes over 185 degrees, the egg yolk will curdle and your sauce will break, so do not bring it to a boil. Move it from the heat. Whisk it rather rapidly to introduce air to cool it down. 
so that it will not continue cooking. You can now add in the frangelico. and strain. The strainer should be fine enough to catch all the particles of the nuts. Then refrigerate the sauce till it's cool before serving. Now the chef begins the white chocolate ravioli. Now the chocolate should be warmed in either, either an oven that has been uh, turned on for a few minutes and then turned off, or ideally in an exactly 72 degree environment. This chocolate here that I'm pressing on now has not been handled in any way or warmed. And as you can see, it is not pliable. It's melting a little bit underneath the pressure of my thumb, but it does not give. This chocolate is, has been set and allowed to warm slightly. As you can see, is very easy to flatten out just underneath the pressure of my finger and also is not melting at this point. The chocolate is slightly flattened, then it's put through a pasta machine set on the widest setting, decreasing the width until a sheet 1 16th of an inch is achieved. The white chocolate is pressed into chilled ravioli molds. Now you have your raviolis in place. Fill it with a dollop. The ravioli is filled with cooled mousse. chocolate right over top, pressing down lightly, and then continue to slightly roll over very firmly to seal the raviolis. Remove any other of the softer chocolate from your rolling pin. Go back around the sides to seal in the sides. Like so. Roll carefully the divisions between each ravioli so that the raviolis will unmold very easily. Like so. And down the center. Then, to unmold, making sure they're all in position, invert your ravioli maker, press down gently, and you have the ravioli. Spoon the sauce into the center of the serving plate. Sprinkle them with the hazelnuts. There's a road headed to the west, and it's calling me back again. There's a pale blue sky and a north sunset, and a place I can't forget. You go down home when the sun goes low. 
Head off the highway to the painted western sky Walked down a worn path through the back door Cooked it in the kitchen and the kettle is warm Then you sit down 